Citigo is the only model from Lada Bowl Slab that can be purchased with a three-door body. Finally, for the novelty, not a DSG or an automatic transmission will be offered as an option, but a robotic transmission. This has not been installed on Skoda before. But this will be only in a few months, but for now the car has only a five-speed manual. Hurry behind the wheel, until from the gloomy clouds that hang over Lisbon, the streams of water promised by weather forecasters poured. Citigo is the only model from Lada Bowl Slab that can be purchased with a three-door body. Finally, for the novelty, not a DSG or an automatic transmission will be offered as an option, but a robotic transmission. This has not been installed on Skoda before. But this will be only in a few months, but for now the car has only a five-speed manual. The interior, as opposed to the exterior, of this check is almost identical to the related faults. Volkswagen Up is a city car manufactured by Volkswagen AG. The production version was officially presented at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 2011. Production began in December 2011 in Bratislava, Slovakia, too. Sales of the car in the European and Asian markets began in the summer of 2012. The Russian premiere of the car took place at the Moscow Motor Show in 2012. Volkswagen Up also sold with minor differences under the seat in Skoda brands, respectively as Seat Me and Skoda Citigo. The Seat Me is currently in limited production and only sold in Europe. If it weren't for the emblem on the steering wheel, by the way, it's updated, Citigo got it first, you wouldn't notice the difference. Comfortable fit, quite an adult front panel, excellent visibility, and the doors close with an expensive sound. All this makes a favorable impression. Is that a tachometer with a diameter slightly larger than a 5-ruble coin looks funny. Practicality is also in order. Citigo has a lot of containers for small things, books, coasters, shelves, pockets and holders. But I was especially surprised by the spaciousness. I did not feel cramped not only in the front seats, but also in the rear. True, the passengers of the second row, except for a decent supply of space for a minicar, have nothing to indulge in, the living conditions are too modest. There are no handles on the ceiling, there are no ventilation deflectors, the doors are devoid of pockets. In addition, the windows do not fall here, but are retracted to the side, forming a small gap. At the turn of the stylish flip key, Citigo responded with a slight vibration on the floor and controls. There's nothing to be done, three cylinders. I have the basic version with the 60 horsepower petrol engine. It would seem, what to expect from a working volume of one liter. But no, the motor surprised me with high torque at low speeds. I started off, barely pressing the gas pedal. However, further acceleration did not bring surprises. The car picks up speed reliably, confidently, but without a twinkle. I was pleased with the precise operation of the clutch and gearbox, excellent engineering. Accelerating, at 300 to 400 RPM, Citigo growls like your sports car. Such a pleasant soundtrack is unexpected for such a baby. True. In other modes it is simpler. The idle soon ended, I drove into an area with a hilly terrain, where a leader engine was frankly not enough for normal movement. On the slopes, the car lost speed and asked to switch to a step, or even too low. Weak heart for the Highlands. In general, he changed to the 75 horsepower Citigo without regret. However, he did not give bright emotions. Of course, at medium and high speeds, this one is a little more fun but there is no need to talk about a fundamental difference. But fuel consumption is almost a liter more, 6.4 L slash 100 kilometers instead of 5.6 liters. And the vibration load here is even more noticeable. Itching is felt not only when the engine is started. Choosing for myself, I would stop at the version with the base engine. Why pay more when you get the same? I'm satisfied with the smoothness of the ride. The car regularly swallows the road trifle. As long as there were sloping bumps, everything was also okay. And only on the angular pits felt uncomfortable shaking. And if an unevenness came across in a turn, Citigo strove to rearrange, the short base affected. But, you see, it is naive to expect more from a car of this class. In addition, in megacities, the main habitat of such machines, the quality of asphalt is usually better. Here is the city. At the wheel of the Citigo, I maneuvered with ease and confidence through the seething nickels scattered in the tangle of Lisbon lanes. I'm sure if I had a bigger car at my disposal, not to mention business sedans, I would have to spend a lot of time driving around with passers-by on narrow streets. Yes, and the search for parking spaces would take much more time, 
Another plus of Skoda and city traffic is the city safe drive system, which scans the space in front of the car. In the event of an obstacle, it is able to slow down to a complete stop. In the case, I never appreciated it. I didn't have enough nerves. Noticing the obstacle, he slowed down on his own, away from sin. But later, at a special site, I was convinced that the system works. Only the speed in this case should not exceed 30 km h Competitors don't have that. As there is no panoramic roof, as well as a funny prestigious move and fun system that combines navigation, an onboard computer and a multimedia player. All this, as well as a stylish design, a spacious interior and trunk, a high level of safety, the car has already received 5 stars and Euro NCAP tests, will help you successfully fight competitors for a place in the sun.